Hello, uh, I'm Ian. I'm Renee. I'm Steven. All right, today is going to be a very special type of practice. We're uh, going to be reviewing some of the topics uh, we learned this year in geometry. And I'll be explaining later <coughs> the connection between soccer and geometry. I'll be explaining the vectors. And I'll be explaining uh, transformations. Here is a layout of a soccer field. We can see many different shapes and sizes of geometric figures. First, let's start with some basic shapes. Each side of the soccer pitch, there are three rectangles. The outline of the pitch the 18 yard box and the 6 yard box. In the middle of the pitch there is a full circle. It is divided by the halfway line which acts as a diameter. Also on the corner flags there is a quarter circle which represents a 90 degree angle. For the shooter to place the ball where the goalie cannot block it or to make a goal, he needs to shoot it to the left. This requires much direction and much power. You must hit a certain part of the ball to make the ball go left and into the net. When the curve works then as a vector giving us the magnitude from where the ball was kicked to where the ball ended up in goal. If Ian, the shooter, was about 15 feet away from the goal, vector A would be 7.5 feet and vector B would be 7.5 feet as well. This means that the ball will began to curve at the point where vector A and B meet. Now I will explain where to kick the soccer ball with your foot for different types of shots. Let's pretend the ball is two dimensional. This makes the ball look like a perfect circle. With a secant on the bottom right of the ball, top spin and a curve towards the left will be applied. With a diameter from the bottom to the top of the circle, a direct powerful shot will be applied. With the secant on the bottom left of the ball, a topspin and a curve to the right will be applied. In the shooting drill, I will explain the translation problem. First, Ian, the shooter, shoots the ball directly at the goal or where the goalie is placed at the origin. The goalie blocks it and then Ian uses translation to decide where to shoot the ball so the goalie won't block it. If the goal was 8 feet wide, Ian has to shoot it negative 4 feet and one foot up, which means four feet to the left of the origin and one foot above. So much. I uh, hope you learned a lot today in this video. Uh, goodbye. I uh, just want to thank all my fans.
out there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Disney Channel. Goodbye. Alright, three, two, one.